Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about your personal growth journey. Now, on Friday, I did a, a video about the three types of people. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go back and watch that one. I also over the weekend did a webinar on overcoming imposter phenomenon. So if you've never heard of imposter phenomenon before, guess what? There's a video about that. And the link to the webinar is in the description of this video. Now in that webinar, I talked about the first three stages on the growth journey. And over the next few videos, I'm gonna go through all five stages that I've identified in the growth journey. So thanks for joining and I hope that you enjoy this video. Stage one says, why am I here? Okay, if you are in stage one, then you maybe are watching this video because someone recommended it to you or um, YouTube recommended it to you. Somehow you stumbled across this video, you probably were not actively seeking it out. The person who is in stage one, they learn and grow. Um, the growth is more accidental. And the learning is typically only the required learning. Now I'm a dietitian, and as a dietitian, I have to do 75 hours of continuing education every five years. And to be quite honest with you, um, in some of my five-year recertification cycles, my continuing ed has been pretty haphazard. Other times, um, I was fortunate. My Hmm. first or second cycle, my first cycle as a dietitian, I started a master's degree towards the end of that cycle. And so I was able to get all of my continuing education from that degree after I was credentialed. Currently, my continuing education cycle started in the summer of 21, and I started a PhD program in the summer of 2019. And so my continuing education units are gonna basically be taken over by my PhD program, right? But there have been other times in life where I've been much more intentional about my learning and development. But this person in stage one, they really only do continuing education because they have to, um, and they only do the required amount. This person maybe has never heard of a growth mindset. And they definitely haven't embraced a growth mindset. So is this you? Are you a person in stage one? If you're in stage one, then you're probably going to answer no to both of these questions. Do you fully understand a growth mindset? A growth mindset is one that embraces learning, embraces mistakes, and sees them as growth opportunities. Right, a person with a growth mindset believes that we can grow and we can learn and that our intelligence is not a static thing. A person with a fixed mindset is the type of person who thinks that they can't learn, right? Like math is hard or science is hard. I don't get it, I'm never gonna understand it. If that's you, you have a fixed mindset. Um, if you're not excited to learn new things, and once again, you're that type of person who just does continuing education because they have to. Maybe you learn new things here and there um, because you need to learn how to fix something that broke in your house, right? Um, you need to learn how to get the burnt smell out of your microwave. Um, and so you look up things and you learn things, but only for specific purposes because you have to, right? So how can you move from that stage one person to stage two. Well, I have developed an online community. It's on Facebook right now. I know that not everyone um, uses Facebook anymore, and that might not be your preferred place to have that community. So we will think about moving it um, somewhere else if possible. But for now, it's a Facebook group, and it's called The Seedling Lab. Seedling because we're little itty bitty small plants who are just barely starting to grow, right? And so this is a community that is intended to provide support, encouragement, and education on our growth journey. 
So the link to joining the Seedling Lab is also in the description of the video. I would love to have you join us if you are interested in moving through this growth journey. Now, the other thing I would encourage you to do if you are in stage one is to complete my creating a growth mindset mini course. I am developing a free mini course because it is so important to me that people learn about personal growth and embrace a growth mindset. So what can you expect in that creating a growth mindset mini course? Well, first of all, we're going to talk about the importance of knowing who you are and where you want to go, helping you find your passion and purpose in life, right? Because if you don't know who you are, then your growth is going to be much more haphazard and slow. The next thing we're going to talk about is self-esteem and self-worth. People will rarely place a value on you that is higher than the value that you place on yourself, which means if you do not hold yourself in high esteem, then other people probably don't either. And we're going to talk about ways that we can increase our self-esteem and value ourselves. We're also going to talk about limiting self-beliefs and how we can start to overcome those. The next thing we're gonna talk about is how dissatisfaction is actually important to growth. And if we are okay with the status quo, we're not gonna grow and improve. So as uncomfortable as dissatisfaction can be, we're gonna talk about how it can be important. Now we're gonna talk about cultivating curiosity because curiosity is so important to growth, right? If you don't have curiosity in your life, then you're less likely to seek out new information and find ways to grow and learn. And then the last piece of this Cultivating a Growth Mindset mini course is going to be developing intentionality in our growth. So we're gonna talk about things that hinder our growth and development, and work on developing a growth plan so that we are headed in a direction with our growth. So again, the person number one does not embrace a growth mindset. They maybe have never heard of a growth mindset and they're not intentionally growing, but we can move from this to stage two by developing a growth mindset. So stay tuned, the next video will be on stage two. So I hope you come back and check that one out.